<laughs> what is up everybody welcome back to another video today um i do have another video kind of that i've touched on before uh, but it is in reference to um, washing a truck with either rhino liner or that's been line x um, so i'm gonna go over the tips and tricks that i've used um, in a previous video i did cover this but i have since gotten some more products um, that i have found work out even better um, and that would include a uh, foam cannon if i can find mine right here uh, the black max i actually got this from walmart believe it or not uh, for a couple bucks you know 30 bucks or 20 bucks i can't remember somewhere around there um, and it does a phenomenal job so stay tuned i'm gonna go exactly on what i do when i wash my uh, f-350 you will want a power washer if you are um, doing a truck with line x um, that's a very important step is having that um, but while before we do anything i've got some some powder coating um, under my truck um, like the brake calipers and traction bars odds and ends some uh, two air tanks in the back the diff covers um, stuff like that um, we've got the steering heim joints drag links all that kind of stuff so what i recommend uh, before i even get the truck wet uh, i have mcguire's uh, wheel and tire cleaner this stuff works amazing um, i do all the tires with it first um, and the wheel itself the powder coated lug nuts um, everything so go like that and especially on these brakes I'll do the do the same thing like that maybe up in here I'll just give those a quick spray then the rear brakes then we've got the air tanks So the whole truck has now been sprayed and you can see I almost used a whole container of the wheel cleaner. Um, you go through a lot. Anyways, now that that's all set up, now what I do, um, I like chemical guys, the hydro suds. Um, anyways, I'll pour this a little more into here. Use all of that. So, anyways, this should give me, uh, I may add a little bit more water to this. Um, but this will now connect onto your power washer. Um, and then uh, you'll have some adjustments here on uh, more soap, less soap as far as suds. Um, and then this will do your pattern, whether it's a big pattern, 
small pattern stuff like that so while the while the wheels and everything is you know cleaning with the cleaner now i'll spray the whole truck down with this soap uh, and we'll get the whole truck nice and soapy and sudsy and let that soak for a little bit and then while i'm letting that soak i'll go back through and clean the wheels and the parts that I put the wheel cleaner on because you don't want that to stay on there too long and dry. like that folks i have got the truck rinsed off um and looking mighty fine so now that it's uh rinsed off got all the soap off nice and good um and you can see 
there were some bugs up here on the front um, man it just this method takes everything off uh, and it's just so easy um, before I used these kinds of methods uh, I was with a hose and man tell I'm telling you if the truck is muddy um, it's pretty was relatively clean when I washed it this time but if there's any mud on there uh, the mud just sticks to that so bad so you really have to have a pressure washer to do this correctly and easily so what I do to blow it off is this I use a leaf blower uh, there is another method that I do sometimes for like the windshields uh, and glass part and that is a chamois but uh, this is easiest and then I'll go back later with glass cleaner and clean the glass um, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow the truck off um, at this point I think you guys have the gist of uh, what I do and what works best for um, a truck that is Linexed or Rhino lined. Um, like I said, it really is as simple as uh, it looks. You hear me doing it. Um, there's no, not, you know, it's just a piece of cake. So um, I think that'll do it. I'll try to make this video nice and short. Um, there is a previous video that here at the end of how I used to wash the truck. Um, I will put that uh, at the end of this video. You'll be able to see that um, if you want to go watch it. But this is a far better way than the old way I used to do. So that being said, if you thought this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and go ahead and... Um, you know, check out some of my other videos if you're still here. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of content that uh, that you will enjoy seeing. Um, diesel swapped B3000, a five or a six nine uh, V8 diesel that is next on the build. I need to put a turbo on that. Um, but anyways, you know, subscribe, follow me. Uh, I will. I'll be doing a lot of cool content here coming up. But anyways, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. I am out.